Hey guys, RC here, back with Mist Survival, episode 7. Uh, let's see, let's swap these out. Well, something woke me up here. So let's try to go to sleep, see if we can draw them out. There we go. There we go. Oh, hello. All right, we'll loot them in the morning. <laughs> That'll teach me to go try to loot them now, right? All right, Let's see if we can draw a few more out. Ow, bastard. That hurt a little bit. Yeah, well. All right, let them pile up here. Boom. Ooh, that's a lot of loot there. Looks like you got to time that just a little bit. All right, well, oh, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, awesome. You doing all right? How about you? Oh, cool. All right, we got a little bit. Let's go put some stuff away here. Uh, well, did I tell you welcome? Hey, guys, welcome. RC here, Miss Survival, Episode 7, Season 3. Yeah, cool deal. All right, we have uh, got this, and it's kind of in the freaking way. All right, uh, let's see. We got one of those. Yeah, we got some of these. Uh, we got one of those. We got a few of these. And well, there's some towels. I don't think I've sorted all this stuff out yet, which is okay. Uh, if you guys didn't notice last episode, uh, I am starting to edit out some of the runs between uh, between stuff, you know, when I have downtime. Hey, buddy. Oh, ow. Dude, that was, that was just rude. Seriously, just rude. Hey, I'm over here, punk. I'm over here. Well, we actually got a good bit of loot. Let me see if I can go to sleep. Not really. All right, well, damn it. Hello. So again, you notice they're not, not able to climb over this. So that does work as a border definitively, at least for right now. Hello. Hey. Awesome. Three salt off of that. Oh, well, let's see. So our fatigue is actually good. We'll finish sleeping through the night. That'll get as well. Good. All right. Cool deal. All right. Uh, let's see. We have some more salt. That was somewhere. There it is. 
Uh, we got a full thing of water. I want to go ahead and put this extra crowbar that we got up. Probably ought to carry that in the truck, to be honest. And I want to pull another knife for the truck as well. So, a um, couple of things just to kind of touch base. Um, if you guys have not paid a lot of attention to... Uh, I try to welcome everybody to the channel, right? Um, but I may not, it doesn't tell me what video that you subscribed off of. So if you subscribed off of a, uh, off of one particular episode, video, say Miss Survival, but the next, when I get notification, the next one that I'm doing is say football manager. I'll actually welcome you on the football manager video. So, you know, it's not trying to not give you credit. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm giving credit in the very next episode that I am recording. So that's how that works. Uh, so just, you know, heads up. Uh, I do welcome everybody uh, when I get the notification and I do do it in the very next episode. Um, beyond that, uh, you'll notice last episode for this, uh, we were doing a, uh, you may notice I was, I was editing out some of the parts between, oh, I wanted two of those. Did I not, did I not build the other one or did I build it inside? Um, do I have a second bear hide? I thought I did. Bear hide, hello. Uh, equipment, oh, looks like I lost my, my head. So let's go ahead and pull that and equip it. Awesome. Anything else we're missing? Legs, gloves, I don't have, you know, nothing else. I thought I had another Not there. Not there. Oh, there it is. There it is. It was over here. Why didn't you guys remind me about that? Okay, because we built that outside. Well, don't don't just walk off and what are you doing? Jesus. There we go. All right. And I think what we're going to do is we'll put this right there. And we'll build this at some point. Eventually, I want to close in the back side here and give me some work area. Either that or I'll move this inside and we'll just build a gate like right here to the stump or something. I don't know. Uh, not sure. Uh, how are we doing on water? Uh, we have three. Do I have a bucket? Should have a bucket somewhere. Maybe. Bucket. Hello. I know I have a bucket. Where did I put it? Um, no. Nope. Nope. Did I lose the bucket? Is it in the truck? I bet that's where it is. Shut that. All right. Yes, there's the bucket. I want that. Let's go ahead and put our spare knife in here, our extra crowbar. I want to fill that one up. We'll put that in there. Awesome. So if you guys do notice some some skipping around, uh, that is you know in the video where it looks like there's a gap right in the middle of a scene, it's just when I'm running around doing something uh, that you know doesn't really help us out any, right? Okay, let's go ahead and do that, and then we will. 
give to here. And I think we can give 16, right? Um, I think we can give 16 to this. I think that's all we can do. So we will do that. Take that back out. Um, we'll add this back to there because then I want the empty bucket to bring back 10 gallons with or 10 liters. And I need four pieces of wood. Might have four here. I do not. But I do have, ooh, let's do. Can I do that? Then we'll do that. Well, I don't want to leave the potatoes for too long because they, they cook really damn fast. All right, see, they're already medium. And we got to, and you got to pull them off. Boom. Right there. All right, and do we have... Let's go ahead and chop this one down. Oh, by the way, when you get, when we start rescuing NPCs, or if you have not done that yet, Scott is able to chop down trees, but you saw how this one, we had already kind of started the tree. If you send him out to chop trees and he gets interrupted or he stops for whatever reason, if he's already started the tree, he will not finish it. You'll have to go finish it manually. So just a heads up. All right, we'll pick all that stuff up. And I want that. Then we'll come here. And then we've got everything we need to distill. And then we can come put some wood back there. Oh, okay, here we go. 31, 14. All right, we're good there. All right, what else? Uh, the other thing you may not have realized, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and eat all these potatoes. They don't last very long. I don't usually go into an episode with any particular idea of what I want to do. Um, you know, I just kind of take it as I go. So, but then another guy did make a comment on uh, one of my other videos. He said, I kind of like, I kind of like how you do this because you kind of explain your thought process. And, and I do try to do that. Um, I actually taught for a few years and then I'm in management and sales. So I'm used to kind of explaining things and, and kind of walking my way through, uh, you know, processes and stuff. So that is why I do it the way I do it. Um, if you like it, great. If you don't like it, there's really not a whole lot I can do about it because that's how it is. Um, let's go ahead and drop this back here. So I appreciate him saying that. Uh, that's the first time anybody kind of pointed that out. And, you know, I started thinking about it. And I went, yeah, well, that makes sense because that's kind of how I do things. All right. Um, oh, that's not good. I was wondering where that tr the rest of that tree went. Um, I cannot get up there, can I? Well. Uh, cool. All right, we'll drop these back here. So, yeah, if you've kind of, you know, I, I was noticing yesterday, I was watching a couple of guys, uh, you know, because I do watch a lot of, a lot of YouTube myself. And, you know, one guy was talking about, you know, well, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and, you know, the other. And I was like, oh, okay. But, he was really laying out, you know, well, this episode, I'm going to do this. And this episode, I'm going to do that. And I was like, dude, 
I just kind of go out and wing it, <laughs> you know, just kind of do what I need to do that episode, you know, I don't really put a lot of thought into it. Uh, beforehand, I just kind of, okay, what do I want to accomplish today? What do I want to do? Um, so I hope that does not bother you, my play style. Uh, let's see, some more sticks and some more hard sticks. I think I would like one more of these. And let's craft another spear. Because I did throw that one away, remember? So that gives us another 100% spear. We'll have some blueberries to eat. All right. Um, I did want to look at lock pick. I don't need that. I'm working on the stuff for the bow and the quiver. My shield's at 85%. Okay, that's not what I want. Um, I'll need a mortar and pestle at some point. That's what I want, a pickaxe. Because I need, oh, sledgehammer. Okay, well, I need the pickaxe to go to the mine in order to get start getting iron to make the sledgehammer. So that's going to be... Low quality metal ingots. Um, I believe I really need to move some of this stuff around. Um, I'm going to bring two of these. And I think, is that low quality? I think so. All right, so we're going to go ahead and melt those. I hate to lose that stuff, but it is what it is. Um, and we do have that as our base, because remember, we cannot set that building as our base. So I am thinking about... At some point, whoa, hello, that's interesting. Um, yes, that's the stairs in the front. I don't know what that is. Is that, is that a side door over there? Do you guys know? Let me see if um, okay. So you got the big stairs. Yeah, that must be what that is. I'm guessing that's the wow. Hello. All right. Okay. So yeah, that'll be the stairs up. And this must be on the back side. All right, well, 40 logs, 20 wood, nail sticks, that's fine. I'm kind of just thinking this out because what I want to do maybe, oh, you know what? No. Um, cancel. Okay, so if we try that again. Okay, um, hello, oh, my game just froze, what the hell, oh my god, I'm freaking a mile up in the sky, um, what the hell, okay, I don't like that, <laughs> all right, I think I want the stairs to go there, right, maybe, yeah, because I kind of want, we can put that right up to the back, right there. Okay, now let's run back here and tear this one down. I don't know what the hell that was. All right, so you're good. 
Let's come check this out. All right, so the stairs are actually here, and I don't mind it sticking out a little bit. And then this will go around the back. And then maybe what I can do is we'll have a gate there, but maybe we can put a wall here and then up to here. Or maybe we could even put another small cabin. Let's try that. The good thing is you can kind of lay all this stuff out. What? I got the double click there. God damn it. All right, so if we're going to come back into here, then we can put a small cabin right there. Right? And then we can come in. I'm leaning like I can actually see better. Right there. Okay, that's off. All right, yeah, there we go. That's kind of where I want to be, right there. I think that's close. I mean, it has a gap, right? But that's not going to bother me too much. Well, yeah, maybe a little bit. Another thing, if you haven't been watching me for very long, I am not, I, unlike a lot of YouTubers, I am not OCD. I, I really, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff doesn't bother that bother me in the least all right so let's put it yeah right there does that fit a little bit yeah a little better all right so that's cool so what this will do is this will give us another room for uh one of the npcs to stay in we'll have this one they can stay in and then what we can we can build a wall maybe using this wood pile so maybe we can come out from here, come out to the back side of this and have an L-shaped wall, maybe with a watchtower right here on the corner. And then on the back side, we can build uh, the little chicken wire fencing in like an L-shape back here and then over to the corner here. And then we'll have access in here. And eventually what we'll do is since we'll have this closed off is maybe build a wall from here out to the wood pile and use that as like a corner foundation and then we'll tear this down so this whole area right here will be enclosed and then we can tear this down and then maybe what we can do is we can build um We'll build a wall like across here, straight across, to have this as part of the internal work area. And then we can rebuild a, an area right out here uh, as uh, to come out and fight the, fight the zombies. That might be an idea. So, you know, just I, I do think ahead a little bit, but not, not a ton. All right. Um, so, yes, let's check. Let's check this. Uh, they are not working, so those are done. Awesome. And then, if I want to build a pickaxe, now I need eight wood. So let's go grab two of those. And does our saw bench need power? It does not. Awesome. I thought it needed power, but I was mistaken. All right, so let's come back here. And I do watch the background kind of right here. All right. Um, let's go ahead and plop the wood in there. Awesome. Okay, so you guys know where the mine is, right? You don't? You do? I think we're going to head to the mine today. Now that I want to I want to get some ore going to get a sledgehammer. Now, if I remember correctly, so the the layout of the map is roughly the same, roughly. Um and we want the sledgehammer to start breaking up the, the static cars. 
You could do it with the axe, but the axe takes a lot of damage. All right. So if we go down this way, I believe, and I could have went down that other road, I suppose. And this is going to be the kind of stuff that I'm going to try to start breaking out, right? Uh, all right. So, yeah, we want to come down this road. Whenever you find the, the, uh, the overhead wires here, this is to the east side of the map. You can follow this. And now we want to go out here. So basically follow these. And it's the same ramp up that it was before. So yeah, if you're if you're at the White House, you go east. You come out of the White House to the main road and you take a, a right turn and you'll come all the way down to here. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide all the way down here. All right. Um, I want the pickaxe. I don't need this axe. So we're going to take that. And I don't want that. And I don't need the bucket in here. And I only need one thing of water. I'm not going to need the crowbar. And I don't need the fuel. I'm going to keep the knife just in case I need it. And that way I've got a lot of room for stuff. And what I want to do is I want to kind of, I want to go into the mine a little bit. I want to see if it's open yet. I have seen in other videos that it is not open. And all you have is this beginning section that the developer has closed it off for some reason. So let's just run in and see where we are at from a true perspective of the mine. All right, so this is closed off still. We can't open that. And here is the mine. And you can see the doors are closed. So sure enough, he has this closed off. All right, so... I'm going to try something that I saw in another video, and the video that I was watching was from uh, Cage848, uh, so I'll give him credit for this, and I think he was told by some viewers, so the viewers like you. All right, so let's start mining, and a lot of this, a lot of times, you know, like the mine and stuff, this will be stuff that is all done off camera. Uh, very boring, very menial to watch. But, you know, the first time, you know, probably worth doing. And you'll notice sometimes you get two. Oh, and I can't. There we go. All right. So some zinc. So I am going to want to make a mortar and pestle now. All right. So... What we want to do is work our way back to the beginning. And we want to mine all the nodes. Oh, a lot of iron here. That's good. All right. And we've got that node here. Now, I don't know exactly how to do this, but I'm going to give it a shot. So... And we should have had one more piece. Where did it go? No? All right, so you that was all the nodes in the mine. So what we're going to do is we're going to save. We're going to come out of the mine. Let the game finish saving. Then we're going to come back into the mine and see if that did it. And it did not. All right, so what we're going to do is come out of the mine. We're going to save again, and then we're going to leave the game. We're going to close the game and come back. So I'll see you when the game reloads. All right, so we have loaded back in right where we just left off. All right, let's run back in, and voila. 
So the nodes have all respawned. And we can start mining again. No time has passed. And right there. Awesome. So that is uh, whatever you need to come mine. That is a trick. Now, I don't know if that's just a stopgap that he has used uh, to allow you to get more mining accomplished. Uh, honestly, I have no idea. But um, it does work for right now. This is on the current version. Oh, there are two nodes here. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and drink. That'll get our stamina up a little bit. This is also a good place to have the uh, mortar and pestle that you can then um, do some work with to regain stamina. Bringing some sticks in, some branches to make sticks, anything like that that passes time uh, to make uh, to get your stamina back. And again, I don't remember if we had anything back here, and we do not. All right, so just once again, so the mine is currently closed off. So when he opens this back up, you if you've played before, you know how, I mean, the mine was probably four times bigger than this. Uh, that room was always unavailable. I don't know what he's going to do with that at some future point. Um, I do know they've opened up a new mine area, but uh, I haven't been there yet, so I'm not exactly sure where it's at. But that gives us uh, one, two stacks of iron. Actually, at part of a, almost three stacks of iron. And... Uh, stack plus of zinc and two stacks plus of copper so i want to go ahead and go back yeah i think i'd probably like to uh like to do this once more but we're at a cut point so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and finish the mining off camera i'm going to do one or two more rounds of mining off camera uh, I'm going to go back to base, and then we'll pick up there next episode, melting down the, uh, you know what, I'm going to get on the truck just in case some mist comes, um, and I can put this stuff inside there. Um, yeah, I need some more storage out here to be fair, but that is what it is. Um, I will eat a little bit to free up some more space. So I will see you guys next episode back at the base. We'll start melting down the, the metal from this mining expedition. And just out of curiosity, so we've lost 8% on two rounds of mining. So just a, a rough, uh, rough number for you. So guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.